Hi guys, this uh, video is about fast fetch. I'm giving some tips on Telegram at this point in time and realize it's maybe better I make a video so it sticks on YouTube and everybody can watch the video. It's all about knowledge, about applications and configurations. So basically it's not about fast fetch. It's about how to find information where to find information and figure it out without my tutorials right the information is often on your computer did you realize so you don't have to go online yes we will but no you don't have to go online so it's all about knowledge let's share the knowledge oops ctrl alt t right if i type fast fetch in my computer I get this if I do ctrl T and I do neo fetch neo fetch right I get this so we've taken basically the settings of neo fetch and have similar settings in our fast fetch right it's the same kind of look same kind of information this information this look fast fetch is well, an application. The application comes from clearly Arch. Why I say clearly fast fetch. And the hit in front of it, the line in front of it says where it's coming from. So fast fetch is coming from Arch. If you want the Git version, yes, then it's coming from repo third party. So we build it for you. It says 10 here, but well, we've built it and it's 11 here. Okay, so that's the application. If you want to know, if you want to learn about an application, whatever it may be, right? Then you go for sudo pacman minus q l give me information, give me the list of the things that will be brought into my computer system. What will it give me? And People probably won't know, right? But this is how you investigate. It has a lot of presets already. Now, fair warning, I will show you all the presets, but I've removed the public IP and I've removed the local IP, right? It's always dangerous to put a screenshot online with a public IP. That means that users can knock on your door at home, right? Public IP is your router. So that's not um, a good idea. So I've edited, I've went into this code and I've removed public IP. Okay. Now, when I first encountered fast fetch, these are the steps I did. What do I get? I get an application. There's also flash fetch, which actually have not used yet. So flash fetch. I suppose it's even faster than fast, right? I don't know. We have to look look it up. There is something about bash completion, but we're interested in what can we do with it. Well, this is one thing. As you know, I've already made something, so the same exercise can be done with ours. What did we create for Arconex fast fetch? And this answers already a question on Telegram. There is this config. So as you can see, we have created a config JSON C file. And in that file, that's where we say, hey, it's got to look like this, right? That's the code. So this result is because of a file that we've put in the dot config in the fast fetch and the code. Give me a title, a separator, the OS, the host, the kernel, uptime, you can read. As simple as that. So maybe, how did I get that code, right? Question you might have now. Well, I always read either online, Arch Wiki, and then the topic I'm looking for, or Arch Wiki, let's not go online and say offline, mum, fast fetch. If that does not give you any results, then it's fast fetch minus minus help. 
that's possible too i have not tried it let's see fast fetch minus minus help how much information will the developer give you i don't know right but it seems like a long list all right how's the man let's go for a full page here voila and I've read this, I said, okay, fast fetch, what is this? And I start reading and reading and reading. And what we're gonna need later on is the C. Use a specified config file or preset. If none, disable further config loading for details about config file. C, configuration setting. You can generate a file. Ooh, that's interesting. Generate a config file with options or specified on the command line. If file is specified, the configuration will be written to the file otherwise standard out right. or even force thing is we have these this nice list not this one i've closed the wrong one right so the other one now nah, we're gonna need to type it again <laughs> pseudo pacman i don't even think pseudo is necessary but why you know the fingers know what they need to type and if you just type fast fetch, we get what we want to have, right? This is what we want. We want to see what's this. Now, like I said, if you try this on your computer, you will see the public IP and you will see the local IP. I've removed them for the video. So control shift C, okay. And then basically you play around and say, okay, let's see. And the last tip, but I'll, I'll not show it, right? You go to the ArchWiki. Is there some information I can find on the ArchWiki? Plus, second tip, is there a developer website? And there is. So on GitHub, there is a fast fetch GitHub uh, repository with a wiki and you go and read. Try out, read, read, read. Okay. So fast fetch, fetch minus C, minus C. Control Shift V. That's the first one. And then we type. Oh, yeah, I see what I've done wrong. So forget about the fast fetch. I type the double and then voila. So here is information. I'm, I'm checking visually if I still see public IPs and local IPs. No. Nope. So I can continue with the video. This is everything you can ask. Right? I don't want to know that this well it's up to you right this is the first thing that would go out for me i know i read that it's a bank monitor right i know it's a bank monitor i bought it so voila. you just choose what you want to see basically and that's the first one so you see by the way all right by the way so you can guess already probably what this is going to be Ah, right, okay. And then you have more information with CI. And it's all there. Just copy paste and put it in your own home.config fast fetch. And hopefully there is no public IP anywhere in here as I don't want that particular information to be available on the internet right uh-huh cool all right and then we go on we have examples so this one it starts actually with two and then three four five six nine ten eleven twelve thirteen so that's what we remember and control shift c fast fetch minus C, voila, we're off to see them all, right? So if you see a screenshot of somebody, it's just a copy paste from here, right? And then of a bit, a bit of color and a bit of uh, changes here and there. But basically, it's the user's job, right? To make it the way he likes or she likes. I'm keeping an eye out, an eye out for the public IP three. I am on Debian. No, I'm not. That's four. 
that's five. And there's a local IP. <laughs> that's okay. Right. Uh, number seven. Sometimes he's busy, right? He's he's working. Some of these commands, whatever they are, he's looking for information, and it takes a while. So fast is always not that fast. Nine. 10 also a possibility up to you to think it is nice or not right 11 is busy is busy is busy is busy is busy uh, backlight that's what it was looking for I don't have that. 12 that's 12 I think we can go to 14 if I remember correctly 13 all good there's a local IP again as long as I don't see a public IP I am happy and 14 all right done so those are the configs that were available till 13 and um, there is still more there's hardware JSON okay so we can have this one Control shift C let's go down the list let's do a clear first and then fast fetch minus C. Oh, <laughs> no, Ale. Control Shift V. Well, that's hardware chasing. I wonder if I cleaned those out. I don't think so. It seems that I did, so I can continue. So this is hardware. Fine. What else? There is new fetch, paleo fetch. And it's all there. Just copy paste. New fetch. Paleo fetch. It's looking like this. Yeah, there's always this room, a little bit of a break there. And software. That's the last one. So it's up to you to decide to say, okay, I'm happy with this particular look and then you have already 18 90 percent in order and then you go change some colors some lines maybe a smaller arc or the arch Linux logo or deepen logo right it's up to you images it's all there all the information was in the man let's go there again right I often don't go to the internet I just start reading what I have already the developers if they are eh, complete in their work they should provide you some information how is it used how can we set it and all that and this is the information here is where you should put it it will be safe there there is a generate generate config which is I appreciate very much very much that applications generate me something give me something or a sample file somewhere right sometimes it's just a sample file user share etc copy paste and start it happens the same with hyperlink and and wayfire sometimes these desktops they provide you something already to start with that's very much appreciated and here's the github there he is right so have a look if you think have questions you can ask the developer I am not the developer I'm the teacher that's all right so go to the sources and if fast fetch git for example does not build anymore you go to the AOR you go ask the package build maintainer what's going on can you assist please can you help right be polite and ask for help on the AOR enjoy fast fetch or any of the others right any of the others I mean really there is too much choice okay cheers